the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood. Join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. That's right. It's an American leg day, which means we're moving fast and it's going to be lethal. You might get roundhouse kicked in the mouth or face or both. The whole point of this being, it's awesome to look awesome, but not if that awesome doesn't do awesome things. Okay? You look awesome, people are going to attribute things to you. I bet he could lift a tree out of the ground. I bet he could run like lightning. I bet he could kick somebody in the mouth and lose every tooth. It'd be a strike down the middle. But a lot of these big buff guys, oh, honey, can you please wipe my butt again? Now she's got three toddlers instead of two. We ain't going to be that, okay? So you got to remind your body, get after it, keep moving, moving athletically. That's what this is all about. I'm going to go back to doing an NFL dynamic warm-up that I used to do when I was playing in the NFL. Matter of fact, this is actually a good lesson here. 2014, spring uh, training camp. Justin Tuck, probably 270 pounds, hawks down Maurice Jones-Drew at an angle, pursuit angle, probably 60 yards back. Looks like he's running 4-4. I talked to him about it the next day. I was like, bro, that was crazy. He said, hey, sometimes you just got to remind your body and the coaches that you still got it. So let's remind the body today. Here we go. Some leg sweeps in there. Oh. Lifting that toe up, getting a little stretch on the hamstring while moving, sweeping the ground. Oh. That gets a quad stretch, reach up to the sky, get up on that toe. Wah. Single leg RDL. Boom. Oh. Walking high kicks. Ah. Ah. There's a crucial note here. If your walking high kicks are as good as mine, you need to do two rounds of them. Just to remind yourself what a fast moving BA you are. Wham! Might kick myself in the mouth, dude. Thank myself for it too. Be an honor. But lunge, twist. Lunge, twist. Another variation is reach. But kind of reach to the same side of that leg. Keep that back leg as straight as you can. Really get a good stretch on that hip flexor. I used to get variations here. These are, all, these are the A-skips that all the football players who swear they were the best track athletes and took on the Olympics like to do. You've got it, champ. Different than the traditional A-skips, this one you pop right off the ground. It's going to be done in shorter, quicker strides. Or pick up. I think so pounding with it. Remember when you were younger and all the coaches would scold you and make you run more if you bent over like this? Apparently they just found a uh, study, a legit study that says this is a better way to get your wind back. But, uh, you know, to me it still feels soft because that was ingrained in me. But it was also my go-to. I said this is my Mewtwo recharge stance. It's very effective. Probably wouldn't have needed it if I would have stayed in shape. Here we go. Oh, can you reverse that? Easy carry. Come on. So low ankle hops. I love these as a progression to warm up into uh, some jumps. You're only jumping from that ankle joint. Inevitably, there'll be a little bit of knee bend, but it'll be minimal. Take those into the first jump sequence of the day, which will just be high ankle hops. So I got the rhythm more towards the end there. I'm gonna wake my muscles back up to it. The whole point is get off the ground as quick as you possibly can. So yeah, there's some arm into it. Your knees might bend a little bit, but generally you're still staying mostly within that ankle joint. The whole point is get off the ground as quick as humanly possible. That will help you to naturally eliminate what your knees inevitably want to do, which they will bend a little bit. But it's not a boom, rebound type jump. It's you're really trying to just hop off of those ankles. Oh, here we go. I'm out to the streets, homie. I only got so much driveway. One time a guy uh, across the street um, in my court that I grew up in was at a friend's house and I was talking some smack safe from across my street in my house through the window. And he was like, hey, come out to the streets, homie. And he said it so clean that I knew he knew stuff about the streets that I did not. And uh, you know, I'm ashamed to say I did not cross the street and, and go meet him in there. But um, but that's all right, because I bet he couldn't sprint like this even if he tried to get me. So we're doing a little build up here. Oh, a little bit more, let it go. I wanna, I wanna give a little personal anecdote to all those drills that I just did. They're great, but those are, are track athlete warmups. They're not for football players, even though every football team does a, a version of that kind of a dynamic warmup, they're great. They're great warm-ups for mostly sprinting straight ahead. 
Um, and I did them my whole career. I, I didn't think, slow down to think about it until after that a much better way to do a dynamic warm up as a linebacker would be dynamically moving within my positional drill skill set because your nervous system needs to be able to be a master at those specific movements. So for a linebacker, a lot of it's going to be shuffling around, diagonal shuffle, boom, okay, flip the hips. It's going to be a whole bunch of different movements like that that I wish I would have done before every sprint workout, before every time I would hit the field to do field work, before leg days. Just in general, it doesn't have to be crazy intense. You just have to hardwire in your nervous system that your body moves like this to keep those patterns going. Like even a lot of strength is not just muscular. It's um, finding a groove within that movement pattern. So if you, if you need to be a great linebacker, do a bunch of linebacker movements every day if you can. And even when you do them slowly, it hardwires your nervous system to be able to do them at 100% speeds as well because that's the way the nervous system works. So that's cool and everything. And it's nice to be able to pull it out and to feel fast and to remind my body and move athletically. That's all a really good thing. But I think things need to be drilled down much more specifically because football players are not track athletes. They are football players. Uh, a wide receiver's dynamic warm-up should be different than a running back's, than a linebacker's, than a D lineman's, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that's the old stuff anyways. That was the old way I made money. This is the new money right here. So the combat stuff, the action hero type stuff, uh, the punches and kicks. Today I'm going to do mostly just kicks, keep the gloves off. Um, <clears throat> and at you know, a lower intensity for a lot of it, because again, the nervous system, I want to hardwire some of these movements, become really skilled and fine tuned with, well, boom, I know exactly where my heel is going to land because these are also stunts. I'm not actually kicking people. You know, I need to know exactly where his chest is and boom, stop it right before the chest. And then he makes it look like it. Um, I've always really loved kicks as well, especially the acrobatic tricking type kicks. I didn't have a name for it when I grew up, but when I watched Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers and Three Ninjas, all the, all the flips and the, uh, the tricking type kicks and stuff, the, like Juji Mufu does and a um, bunch of guys I can't come up with the names of right now. I just love that aerial type acrobatic athleticism, especially in a martial arts con uh, dynamic. Um, so I'll just literally come and just kind of freestyle on the, on the bag. Boom. So, boom. 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 Ooh. 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 Get dizzy, dog. All good things must come to an end, and today a little early. The plan was to get some heavy RDLs in and some Bulgarian split squats and calves, of course, after the dynamic warm-up and the martial arts kicks. But I was having so much fun with the dynamic warm-up and the martial arts because it's been a while that I let time go and I just got lost having fun in it. And for me, that's still a successful day. I could tell also, you got to listen to your body. I was really wearing myself out doing it because this was a new stimulus to my body. I haven't done these movements in a while. It's re it really took it out of me. It would have been dangerous to go heavy under heavy weights today after doing all of that. Um, but today was a win because the whole point of an American leg day is to move fast and be dangerous. That's the whole point of this career I'm getting into, becoming one of the big men in Hollywood, these 250 plus pound monsters that can move and do all his own stunts. 
I got a little bit closer today. That's the, that's the goal. Be, be this big jacked Arnold looking dude, but they can move like Jean-Claude Van Damme. I got to get those splits too. Yeah. Start training those as well. Anyways, one day closer today. Keep getting after it. Make these grand visions and go after them every day. And uh, it feels good. The process <clears throat> is just as important as the outcome. Um, because how you get there is just as important as what you get. You know, I don't want to take shortcuts or shortcut, um, you know, giving my family the time they deserve and being a good father and husband and, and, and lose all my morals in the process. Go about things the right way, which there is no magic secret. You just, it's just hard work day in and day out. Get your hands dirty. Keep getting after it. Go get you some.